he is. There's our precious Daryl. We were wondering if you were in the room or if you got kicked out today. But there you are, looking up at the ceiling, because the ceiling has all the answers, as it has this whole trial. <laughs>
And now he's decided he's going to drive over her. Like, where do you think you're going? And drive over her with this truck. This what he does. All right, Daryl. What, what what else did you do? It can't be too much more than this, Daryl. What, what else did you do? When the police went to his mother's home and oh. found him there, he uh, was in the Ford as they approached. He got out and tried to run into the house. He ignored their commands to stop. He tried to flee and uh, eventually was apprehended. There he is. There's our precious Daryl. We were wondering if you were in the room or if you got kicked out today. But there you are in your orange favorite suit, looking up at the ceiling. Because the ceiling has all the answers as it has this whole trial. <laughs> I don't want to hear about this. I'm going to play with my long nails. <laughs> you need, oh my gosh, you may need to just put some French tips on them. Them is long enough for French tips, baby. Okay? You can just get you some French tips. Just finish the job because you damn sure going to be the bitch where you going. Okay? You might as well just go ahead and do it now. Get you some French tips. Oh, they're going to love it. <laughs> <laughs> you lucky they made you cut them dreads off otherwise you'd have had them hanging on to your ponytail <laughs> <laughs> Woo, Daryl it's gonna be rough honey it's gonna be rough did he lied to them and said he was not driving the Ford SUV what? that day Darryl? Why are you lying? There was evidence to the contrary. Mm -hmm. That case is pending in Milwaukee County. Uh, uh, he was. What is that? What is? What is this? <laughs> so, and now you're looking at the judge. Like, is the judge listening? <laughs> yes, Daryl. She's listening. She's taking notes. This one likes to take notes, so she's got notes on it. Okay. He look at him. He lied. Mm. What? So? So? So I lied. So I ran over somebody. So I punched her in the face. So I killed children. So I ran over. You I, like? So I ran through the. I ran through a parade. So? I'm wearing orange. What else do you want from me? <laughs> Daryl can't figure out if he's trying to save himself from COVID or not. Just so you know, and this has been speculated against. But as someone in the medical field. He is wearing this mask wrong, okay? This is the inside, Daryl. The white side is the inside. It does matter. <laughs> it does matter. That's the inside. Don't y'all correct me on this. I know everybody been here correcting me about because I called the baby. I said the baby was his baby, but it was really his grandbaby. I'm like, man, I, I typed it, I think, twice um, explaining it. Now I know because y'all told me. But I still get the comments. I'm like, shit, what I should maybe I copy and paste that that re that reply so y'all know. I do know now. I didn't know then. <laughs> <laughs> but I do know now, okay. That was the grandchild. Cause it was so weird because she looks so young. Erica looks she looks like she's maybe 19 now. So I thought he just not grew up recently. I didn't know how old his kids were. This gremlin. I try not to do a whole lot of studying on Daryl. I just like to watch him act the fool and make fun of him. That's 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 my thing. <laughs> it's released on one thousand dollars cash bail in that case on November nineteenth of two thousand twenty one. Mm -hmm. There's a third file pending twenty CF twenty five fifty. The charges are two counts of second degree recklessly. I'm sorry, reckless use of a weapon. Was it a car? Felon in possession of a firearm. Ooh, guns. The date of violation is July twenty four two thousand twenty. Mm. He was released on cash bail in that case in March of 21. In that case, the allegation is that he got into a fight with his nephew. And as his nephew was leaving the area, the defendant fired one shot from a handgun toward the vehicle that his nephew was in. The vehicle was occupied by one other person, and therefore he was charged with two counts. He shot at, wait, did he hit him? The next day, he was taken into custody in a loaded Beretta 9mm. He, look at his face. Yeah, he done it. He shot, he shot at his nephew. He shot at his nephew. At his own nephew. Now, I'm looking.
looking shocked, but I actually saw a little piece of something about this. I believe they said that it was his twin sister who's dead. His twin sister's kid. It's his twin sister who's dead son. He tried to murk him. He wanted to be the only one left. <laughs> he wanted to be the only one left. Do you hear me? The only one left. That's what he wanted. He was like, I want to be the only person left. I want to be like the only kid of, of, of whatever. Like, like he, he tried to murk his own nephew. Somebody please tell me why this dude has been walking free all this time. Why is he free? Like he ain't white. Where's his white privilege? I don't know. Why is he free? Why is he free? <laughs> why was he free last, you know, November? Like why was he free? He has tried to kill his nephew, tried to kill his, his, his baby mama. How many people did he, it's like they just wanted him to finish the job. Well, we got to wait till he actually officially kills somebody. And now look what he done. When he went for it, he went for it, honey. He made it for lowest time, took out six and wiped out 60. I, you, the, how was he still free? He, he ain't rich. He ain't a politician. Like, why is it, why was he free? I want somebody to explain to me why he was allowed to walk the streets. I thought that that was like, what, what is going on in this, in this state? Like, what, what, what is the, don't be telling people what the, how they be letting people get off in this state like this. They're going to be a bunch of criminals showing up in y'all's doorstep looking to get off, get, get away free with some stuff. Cause he definitely should have been underneath of the jail. Your handgun was located just a few feet away from him. That handgun had previously been reported stolen. Look at him believe he has court on those files later this week in Milwaukee County, Your Honor. Uh-huh. Mm -mm -mm. Daryl, Daryl. As far Darryl. as convictions are concerned, yes. there's a 2012 conviction from May, May 15, 2012, resisting obstructing misdemeanor in mm -hmm. Milwaukee County, sentenced to 30 day, 37 days jail consecutive to any other sentence. What do you do? 423 of 2012, there were two files disposed of in Milwaukee County. One of them charged uh, misdemeanor bail jumping and possession of marijuana. He was sentenced to 180 days in the House of Correction on both counts concurrent. Okay. There was another file for felony possession of THC as a second or subsequent offense. He was also sentenced to 180 days in the House of Correction. Don't you wonder what he's looking at? Like, what's up there? What's up there? I mean, what are you what are you looking for exactly? I'm glad I stopped you. I'm glad I paused it right here so you can look crazy while I say this. You <laughs> What exactly is he looking up to the ceiling for? With your handcuffs. You like your handcuffs? You don't feel as free today, do you? Talking about your constitutional rights. You don't have any of those anymore, okay? You buried them. You buried them, okay? And they gone now. You can you can go down and retrieve them because where you buried them must have been underneath of that their prison, which is your new home. You won't get to do this no more. I'm going to tell you this. He will not be able to add anything else to this except, well, maybe in jail. But, I mean, he's a little guy, so <laughs> he's more likely to become someone else's charge. <laughs> Rather than have his own charges. <laughs> for that file. Good luck with that. A felony possession of THC as a second or subsequent <clears throat> offense. Thank you. On April 30, 2010, uh -huh. he was convicted in Wood County mm -hmm. of strangulation slash suffocation with other charges for battery and criminal damage to property dismissed and read in. There was a withheld sentence for three years probation. Ultimately, it was revoked in 2011, and he was sentenced to serve 11 months jail. 2009 mm -mm. conviction. Don't be jumping. Who did he strangle? <laughs> How 
are you just gonna say strangulation and not tell me who he strangled i know y'all know in the comments y'all better let me know who did he strangle because i actually saw I, I had looked up um a list of like i was just i couldn't sleep one night and i was like let me look up daryl's criminal record and i found this one and that was what it said this is strangulation and something but it was no name or anything so i was like who did he strangle what did he was it a dog or something like what did, who did he strangle like what, what does that even mean if there ain't a person attached to it so y'all let me know in the comments please mama need to know from manitowoc county for misdemeanor obstructing sentenced to two days jail time served 2005 conviction from Langlade County. Mm -hmm. Actually, it was a, a county ticket for disorderly conduct. Always disorderly. He never paid the fine on that, so he ultimately served 30 days jail. That's our Daryl. 2003 conviction in Milwaukee County for resisting obstructing. Mm -hmm. 20 days in the House of Correction. 2002 conviction, Milwaukee County felony possession. When I tell you this man is a menace, <laughs> this is a menace. He's a special case. This is a special case. Daryl, you want to be special so bad. You are. You are. You are a special case. <laughs> he tried to murk his nephew, the, the son of his deceased twin sister. The son, the, the legacy of your deceased twin, the person who shared a room with you, unfortunately. She had to live in, what happened to her, I wonder? Because some part of me is wanting to blame you for that too. Like, <laughs> well, part of me is like, where was Daryl when that happened, whatever happened to her? Like, because, you know, he just seems like suspect number one. I don't know what happened. But I feel like he could be blamed for it somehow. Like I, you know. Bail jumping and possession of marijuana and sentenced to jail. In the state of Georgia, he has a conviction from May of 2021. I'm sorry, not a, not a conviction, an arrest from May of 2021 for misdemeanor battery, domestic violence. The disposition of that case is unknown. And uh, whose ass was he whooping in my state? Of course, there's a paternity action that was pending here in Waukesha County that uh, had been uh, a warrant or capius had been issued for him on at least eight occasions during the life of that file. Mm. That's a 2003 case. He was sentenced to jail on several occasions for failing to pay child support. Mm. He was... Uh, Oh, shocking. Oh, our Daryl, sweet Daryl was a deadbeat dad. <laughs> Who saw that one coming? Not me. Not I, said the captain. It wasn't me. Oh, my God. Could he be any more predictable? Talking about, oh, I need to know. Remember remember in the uh, 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 interrogation? And they're like, you know, he's like, you know, I need to let my kids know and do, 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 that, you know, that I'm all right. And I'm like, Please stop acting like you. <laughs> Daryl, if you don't scoot your little ass up underneath of this here prison, you doing the absolute most, honey. The most by also doing the least. <laughs> With your kids, it was the least. Everything else, you doing the most, honey. He was a deadbeat dad, too. Raise your hand if you shot. Put your fucking hand down. You know you ain't shot, honey was once allowed Huber privileges on a jail sentence, but had the, those Huber privileges revoked in 2009. Yeah. Most recently, there was a warrant issued in August of 2021. Mm -hmm. And uh, Judge Maxwell signed an order to lift a stay of a 120-day jail sentence. Ugh, why? He should have been in prison. That is the extent of his criminal history that we are aware of, Your Honor. Um, I think it's very plain on its face. Yep. He's a lifelong criminal. Uh-huh. He is someone who has repeatedly, continuously uh, disobeyed law enforcement mm -hmm. based on the resisting, obstructing yep. uh, type charges. There's multiple counts of bail jumping. 
Yeah, let me finish this for you. He don't care about nobody but himself. He tried to murk his own nephew. He didn't care nothing about his kids. Literally, he cares about absolutely nothing but himself. Not even his own seeds get special treatment with this guy. Like, literally, he is a hazard. Like, literally, he is a freaking sinkhole. It's a sinkhole. There's nothing that good that can happen here. Only disaster. Everything that comes in the radius of this person into the sinkhole they go. Everybody but him, apparently. Until just now. <laughs> Finally. Get your ass in the sinkhole, Daryl. Okay? <laughs> Get your ass in the sinkhole. Don't you come out never no more. <laughs> Stay your ass in the sinkhole. Tell the devil I said, what's up? <laughs> Off the Hades you go. Never to be bothered with no more. Disregarding court orders, disrespecting court orders. Mm -hmm. There's multiple acts of violence. Yep. There's weapons violations. There you go. This man has a history and a pattern of engaging in violent, dangerous behavior in the community. Check. And it was no <laughs> different on November 21 of 2021. And nor would it be. Has I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about the attack. And with all of that being said, he's in here complaining about his rights. I think that the charges should be thrown out because habeas corpus. <laughs> <laughs> Subject matter. <laughs> Subject matter jurisdiction. Oh my gosh. I mean, can somebody just. I ain't even gonna say it. I was gonna say something terrible, but I ain't gonna say it. But it was terrible. Just know that. <laughs> and I choose to call it an attack instead of referring to it as the parade, as somebody mentioned. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with the parade. The parade is good. The parade is the embodiment of a community. Mm -hmm. That's what you expect oh. to see at a parade is children. Exactly. That's what I said. When you think of a freaking parade, you think kids. Even your dumbass, Daryl, you know that this is a kid place. And you chose to drive your car into a bunch of tiny tots. Little League baseball team. Dancing fucking grannies. Just think about what that says. Dancing grannies. <laughs> Grandmas who just by the grace of God are still able to dance and they come together and they dance and here come Daryl come to fuck them fucking ankles up tear them legs down just like literally he is the I mean just honestly think about it. these are grandmas their hips are already like just like you know like once you get to a certain age your hips are like the slightest little thing could just put you put you down like you know as far as like walking and stuff and these women are out here just dancing in a little squad and they team you know what i mean and here come fucking daryl here come daryl grandmas and babies this is what you did you decided to drive your truck into grandmas who can dance and little boys who play baseball and everything that's in between those two categories, which is literally everything. <laughs> and now you want them to just, I think that it should be thrown out because my paperwork is purple instead of blue. <laughs> I wasn't given this paper that I have. I mean, the paper I thought I had. And so we need to just acquit me. Now line your kids up in the street because they next. This, <laughs> Daryl, oh my God. Hades is just too good for you. It's too good. It's too good for you. That's why there's some people who talk about the capital punishment and he should have got that penalty, you know, you know, death penalty. But I say, no, 
No, absolutely not. Because this is what people, I don't know if people are aware. When people are put on the on um, death row, they are not in mixed in with the regular inmates. They're isolated all by themselves. Okay, protected. All the way up until they are sentenced to die. So they don't go through any of the trauma that they need to from their actual new community, which is the other inmates. And that's that part I'm talking about. No, he need to be in open, in the open, out there in the open, and he need to be there forever with no hope of ever getting out. Now that right there is the punishment. <laughs> he needs to have to be worried every single day for the rest of his long fingernail living life. And that is, that's, that's justice. Well, as much justice as you can get in a case like this. Fucking Jackson, man. There ain't no justice for that. There's no justice for that. I can tell you that now. Like, everybody, like, all the victims that, that passed were all, like, you know, like, kind of, like, older. And then it was just Jackson. He was, like, the kid who didn't make it. And he is the littlest of kids. Like, he was so little, like... He didn't get to do shit. He literally got to do jack shit. And then here come fucking Daryl. On that note, I say, oh my God, I hope you as uncomfortable as humanly possible, per use. <laughs> to all of you guys out there a watching, thank you for a watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking and commenting. You guys are the best. And I mean that. I know people say it, but oh boy, do I freaking mean it. <laughs> and while I'm at it, because I never say it, if anyone feels so, they would like to donate to your girl, because I want to turn this into something where I ain't got to go to this place where they ruin my soul. So, you know, <laughs> the cash app is right here. If you feel like you just want to help your girl out, I would appreciate it. Okay. I would. Mama love you anyway. <laughs> Y'all behave because I'm not going to do it. And you already know that. Mama love you. Peace.